Time for Doctor Who once again. World enough and time. Now, obviously, we've seen in the preview uh, a few things are going to happen in this episode. We obviously are going to be seeing the Mondasian Cybermen, which is exciting. They are really creepy, so it'll be interesting to see how well they work in this. Uh, and the thing I'm looking forward to is the return of John Sims' master. I don't know how much of him we're going to get in the episode, but I really, really liked his master, and I'm excited to see him back. So, here we go. That is a really cool ship. Different environments on different levels. That's cool. This man sitting in this chair. The name is Doctor Who. My name is Doctor Who. It's not, is it? I like it. You don't know it yet, but in a short time, you will trust me with your life. And when I save you and everyone on your ship, one day you will look back and wonder who I was and why I did it. It's not good.
spaceship oh cool oh cool gravity and time is different at it's extreme gravity slows time down so it's faster at the other end oh that's awesome <laughs> Volume down. <laughs> That's cruel. Don't know whether to like that guy or uh, or not. That's my friends. I know. I make pictures for you. You like? Where are they now? Are they okay? Uh, they are fine. Look at them. Yeah, but are they okay now? That is now. It's right now. That it is, is time differences. That's yeah. cool. That is so cool. Oh, that is cool. Forever, you know. You need the full upgrade. You're not going to tell me it's one of these things. 
and rebuilding you to survive in a world not made for flesh. Who's looking at me? They're screaming in pain every second they're alive. But we've got something for that now. This won't stop you feeling pain and guilty. It won't stop you caring about it. It fits over your head. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. So that was... <laughs> that was pretty good. I really, really... I like that a lot. There's a lot that I liked about it. There's some interesting things about it. Um, now, at this point, I actually... I wanted to go back and re-watch some of it before commenting because there was so many things in it that the first time through I didn't I don't know if I didn't catch it or if it was subtle enough that it, it sunk in, <laughs> in your subconscious but then uh, I went back to rewatch a few things obviously first of all the master back that is great. I love John Sims Master. Missy is great as well, but something about John Sims Master that I feel is more dangerous. I I truly feel that the doctor and his companions are in peril around him. Um I it it was a long time before I realized it was the the master in disguise. Um uh, well pretty much right till the end. So I mean, I'm sure there's some of you that guessed way earlier. I mean, we knew he was going to be in this. But they did a great job of disguising him and the misdirection from him. Although, this is where I went back to watch a few things. There's a few moments, uh, musical cues even, um, I don't know, about halfway through where, where he's talking to Bill... It might have been when they were watching the the screen, or it was they were talking about something. But there's that sort of da 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 music cue that they used with the master uh, back in like I think all his his previous ones. So it it was changed a bit, so it was subtle, but it was there. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I wonder why Missy doesn't remember. I guess with regenerations and in the master's case resurrections maybe maybe she would forget. I, I don't know. Um but that was cool. So I'm going to be interested to see if Missy goes along with the master or if she sticks with the doctor. Or, or even better, if both of them join the doctor's side. I don't know. It, it's going to be really interesting. Um, yeah. Oh, geez. That, that to me, was the best part of the episode. Uh, the whole lead up to, to the master. And the reveal there was fantastic. The realization when, when Missy realized it was the master. Um, yeah, that was cool. Uh, what else was really cool? I really liked the, the time thing. That... That is so cool. That's what happens when you're near a big force of gravity. The time gravity slows time down, and to actually use real sort of physics in in a show like this is is awesome. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm sure somebody, and I'd be interested to find out if they actually the writers actually sat down and figured out what the difference in time dilation would be. Um, it's funny the doctor even mentions I haven't had time to figure out what the difference in you know time is so I don't know how long it's been but that's kind of cool uh yeah I thought that was really really neat uh what else what else Bill oh Bill is she permanently a Cyberman I I don't know can you undo the process uh that's gonna be interesting I I don't know where they're gonna go with that maybe that's Bill's fate I, yeah, I don't know that. I'm, uh, yeah, what I found interesting at the end of this episode, I mean, it's tragic and sad what's happened to Bill, but I didn't find that I felt the emotion of that, um, with the exception of that tear at the end, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. Because it was intercut with the reveal of the master to Missy, I found I was so excited about that reveal of the master that the the emotional the the sadness and and that I should have felt towards 
Bill being converted into a Cyberman, I didn't feel, I, I kind of, I felt myself wanting to, but I was too excited about the master. So I don't know how they could have got around that. Um, I, I don't know if they had edited it in a different way, if that would have helped. Um, It'd be interesting if there's ever any behind the scenes about this, what they talk about that, how, how they dealt with the going back and forth between the two. But I found the emotion of Bill suffered because of the emotion, the excitement of the master reveal. Um, but yeah, overall, this has been, this was a really good episode. This felt very old school Doctor Who in, in theme and, and style. And I really, really liked it. And uh, of course, two things: the the tear that that almost was emotional. Not not again the, the sadness of Bill, but that's where the tear on the Cyberman comes from. That <laughs> that was kind of emotional. I, I I'm feeling a little emotional talking about that. Um, but that was cool. Um, and then the Doctor, he's gonna regenerate they teased us with it right at the beginning so we know it's coming i mean we know he, his end his tenure as a doctor is finished but that's gonna be sad too so ah uh, i i hope that there is a lot of emotion in the next episode i think you kind of need to have that emotion you you almost expect it it should be a less cerebral uh, episode and hopefully a much more gut wrenching uh, emotional episode for the next one. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, I hope all of you did too. And yeah, just looking forward to the next one.